Rossford has a traffic problem. Trains are blocking our railroad crossing. And they take their time moving. Three hours, four hours, up to 24 and 27 hours, we've even had trains blocking the railroad crossings. Trains block crossings like the one on Glenwood Road often. It's not just a headache for drivers, it's also a safety risk. So if you stumble upon that, then you're, you've really wasted some more time that you may or may not have. Rossford's fire chief says the trains could leave first responders with only one route to some emergencies. Well, potentially, uh, block crossings were going to impact our response times by delaying us, uh, especially if we have to try to circumvent all three crossings, which is Glenwood Road, Lime City Road, and Bates Road. Uh, it only leaves us one avenue, which is the expressway, to get to the southernmost part of our district. Uh, that would create a lengthy delay. Rossford's fire and police officials say emergency crews haven't faced a fatal delay yet, but the police chief says he will issue tickets to pressure the rail line to keep the crossings clear. There's not much more he can do. Some court rulings from the federal uh, Sixth Circuit Court years ago had ruled that municipalities and states did not have jurisdiction over rail traffic. So if the tickets can't be enforced, what's the point? Chief Goss says he hopes it will open a line of communication between the city and rail company. Rossford's police chief tells me that he has been in communication with CSX and there are plans to have a meeting about keeping trains from blocking this road crossing. Reporting in Rossford, Bryant Madrick, NBC 24.